Right now, it is time to go on the docket with attorney John Patrick Dolan as he breaks down all of your legal news. And John, thanks for joining us this morning as you do on every Monday morning. Good morning. Good morning. So the Supreme Court ruled on some major cases before it ended its term. And one of those, of course, that we've been talking about, Obamacare. And it looks like they pretty much said, you know what, let's let Congress now handle it. So tell us what's going to happen now. Well, the Supreme Court uh, is charged with ruling on the constitutionality of the laws that come before the court, uh, especially those that are questioned. And in this case, Justice Roberts sort of crossed the, uh, the political divide and basically said, look, there is a way to find this constitutional. It is a tax. Therefore, we give this back to you, Congress and President. You guys deal with it. And that's pretty much what happened. It was a little surprising to a lot of people. On the other hand, it also shows that the people that inhabit the positions in the Supreme Court are there to rule on the law rather than to be political. And I think this went a long way to show that they're not really just political hacks. So uh, another interesting thing is people st start to know who the Supreme Court justices are because most of the time, most people couldn't name one. <laughs> That's right. And how quickly will Congress then go ahead and you know make the decision and make sure that everything's all Well, I think to what's gonna happen is that will be contingent upon what happens in the election in November. Uh, Romney has promised that he would repeal and replace Obamacare if he was elected. Uh, President Obama has basically said, look, let's leave that alone and let's just get to implementation and that's what will happen if he gets elected. So I think you'll see uh, toward the end of this year, the beginning of next year, depending upon who's elected, mm. where this goes. Oh, okay. And then another big thing, uh, GPS tracking on cell phones. A lot of people have said, you know what, this is wrong. Uh, some people agree with it. So the Supreme Court actually ruled on this. Tell us about that. A good example where technology outstrips our legal system. Um, the government's position was, look, uh, you can surveil people out on the streets. There's no right to privacy uh, when you're walking around on the street. If you do something and we can see it in public, we ought to be able to use it against you if indeed you're committing a crime. The court said, well, while that's true, you can't use cell phone tracking technology without a search warrant in order to track people around. And so a lot of people were surprised the court went that far, especially in light of the, the case that had to do with finding a cell phone in your car when they were arresting you. But it makes perfect sense. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be proper for the government to track everybody around and keep an eye on your whereabouts. And so the court basically said, you can't just track people without a search warrant. And that really is a move in the direction of protecting individual freedoms. That's huge. And pretty much, as you mentioned, you know, tracking uh, and protecting individual privacy. And then we're talking about another kind of privacy issue that the Supreme Court kind of rolled differently on, which is when you go to jails, you can now be strip searched. So tell us about well, that. When you, when you go to jail, you don't have a right to privacy. And what the court basically concluded was because of safety for correction officers uh, and because of a concern about smuggling drugs and or weapons, strip searches are acceptable when people are being processed into jail. It sounds awful, and frankly, I don't think anybody wants to be arrested. But if you go into the county jail, it is not unconstitutional for the jail correctional people to check you out uh, in just about any way they can, including a strip search. Mm, so it'll be controversial as much as the airport uh, strip searches are controversial. Well, well, it's a little different because the airports have to do with federal law, and this is more a state-by-state -state thing. But frankly, yeah, um, once you get into the clutches of the government, they can do just about anything they uh, decide they want to do in order to make sure that you're not bringing anything that's contraband or something that's dangerous to correctional officers into an institution. Wow. Well, thank you so much, John, for Indeed. joining us this morning and filling us in as always and if you want to contact John Patrick Dolan you can go to his website dolanlawoffices.com and ask him any questions you might have and he will be back here next Monday so we'll see you back on Monday